in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to make four square steps infographic slide in powerpoint as you can see here i have created this 3d square shape and when i click it will show you the first step step one uh, with the gradient color it will show with uh, the title and the detailed text along with the icon and on my next click it will show me the step two then step three and step four I have created one more slide where you can show eight options something like this and one more slide without any animation effect so let's see how to do this in PowerPoint add a new slide go to insert shapes and from the rectangles I'm going to select the second one which is the rectangle rounded corners just click it so you got this particular shape and you can see the height and width as one point I'm going to make this to 6 the height and width and then go to align center align middle and shape outline I'm going to make it no outline and I'm going to press ctrl D to duplicate this you can see here I'm going to change the color and this one I'm going to make it to say 5 and again align center align middle then I'm just going to keep this press ctrl D one more so I'm just going to use for the later part of the session and you can see here if you want you can just make it less curved just drag it so it becomes less curved here something like this you can see and then select the blue rectangle hold the shift key select the second one then go to format merge shape and just say subtract so you end up getting uh, shape something like this let me just make it center and I'm going to take this one now let me just make somewhat curved less curved and this one I'm going to make it maybe 5.3 height and width you can see here then again align center align middle right mouse click go to format shape let me just do some transparency level so that i know exactly how much i need so it is uh, very less you can see here the borders i want to increase maybe i'll make it 5.4 5.4 then again align center align middle now i'm going to select both the rectangles then go to format merge shape just say fragment you can see here fragment then i'm going to select the inner part just delete this this part i'm going to change the color to some gray color and this color i'm going to make it some gradient fill select the gradient fill i'm going to use only three stops first one i'm going to make it some gray color you can see here the middle one i'm going to use some light color to give the the metal look and this also i'm going to make it somewhat darker you can see here i have created this particular shape now now if you want you can just reduce the size let me just select all press ctrl g to group it and hold the shift key and just reduce the size you can see here and again make it format align center align middle sometimes you can see here there's a gap here the inner one so i'm just going to select and little bit increase it so that the gap will be filled all right now go to insert shapes i'm going to select from the block arrows this one the arrow pentagon just draw the arrow pentagon here again how much size you need shape outline make it no outline you can see here let me just zoom in and then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the triangle draw the triangle shape outline make it no outline and shape fills give some different color and rotate you can see here rotate right 90 degrees again align it make sure that you have the same size and then i'm going to cut this part again i'm going to select the blue pentagon shape then hold the shift key select the triangle merge shape and just say subtract so you end up getting this particular shape 
Now I'm going to add one more shape which is the rounded corner rectangle. Draw the rounded corner rectangle. Again make it the same height and width. Shape outline, make it no outline and give some different color. Later on I'm going to change it and just send this to back. So you can see here this one it gives a 3D look. Now I'm just going to select this one. I'm going to select some different colors select the gradient so i'm going to use three stops first one more colors for example i'm going to say uh, orange then in the middle i'm going to select maybe yellow and again this one i'm going to select orange and this one i'm going to select a darker orange maybe this color so you can see here and make sure that this is properly aligned perfectly and you can give the shadow effect for that i'm going to select this press ctrl d solid fill i'm going to select black color increase the transparency level bring it something like this and then send this to back so you can see here i've created the shadow effect also and you can move wherever you want okay which position like this you can simply move it now once this is done i'm just going to select this press ctrl g to group it the moment you group it this will come front later on after copying i'm going to send this back press ctrl d to duplicate and go to format rotate you can see here rotate right 90 degrees i'm going to place one here press ctrl d again rotate you can see here rotate right 90 degrees i'm going to put one here press ctrl d again rotate 90 degrees i'm going to add here now i'm going to select all these four by holding the shift key and press ctrl shift g to ungroup it or simply right mouse click group and ungroup also you can do it now i'm going to select this this only and I'll just say send this to back so you can see here now it's time to change the color let me just select this go to more colors I'm going to use some uh, say a pink color here light color and again this side again dark color and again the background I'm going to make it more darker you can see here let me just select maybe this all right so let me just select some other colors maybe i'm going to use some blue color combination this one again here i'm going to select light color and again the same color and the background i'm going to use more blue color let me just change this I'm going to use maybe teal color this one this I'm going to make it lighter again this one make it same color and the background I'm going to select more darker color maybe this one and click OK so you can see here I have created the design now it's time to add the text now to add the text let me just go to insert text box and i'm just going to say step enter key and zero one center align you can make it black not a problem or if you want you can make it white also let me just make it white and i'm going to set the font oswald you can see here and increase the size and just put it here this is the step one press ctrl d this is the step two ctrl d i'm going to make it step three and this is step four so let me just change this is two this is three and this is four now to add the detail text either you can add inside or you can add outside also so let me just go to insert text i'm going to add your title 
again make it Oswald reduce the font size and then color I'm going to choose with the use of eyedropper maybe this background color you can see here and then you can add the detailed text here again I'm going to choose some different font reduce the size font I'm going to make it gray and you can add it here you can see here and if you have the icons you can just simply go to insert and icons you can add it so let me just group this press ctrl G ctrl D to duplicate it and then I'm going to select go to home I'm going to make it right aligned format align I will just say align right so you end up getting this one press ctrl D you can see here now again if you want you can just put it in the center for example like this and again let me just select this and make it right aligned and I can make it left also select the word align left then just change the color whatever color we have chosen sorry let me just go to home and change the color to this this color I'm going to choose a blue and this one will be this color and to make the separation I'm just going to add some lines here you can see here just add some straight line by holding the shift key press ctrl D add it in the this side and ctrl D and you can just alt and the right arrow key to rotate and just put in the center so you can see here the design is ready and if you want to add more text you can add it outside also That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.